Welcome to today's Farm Life. I'm Doug Cunningham. This time of the year, myself, along with every producer in the area, seems to be just a little bit more interested in the weather forecast as we patiently wait for that planting season. Now, I had a chance to catch up with South Dakota State climatologist Laura Edwards. She told me all the weather models point to one direction, warm and dry for the start of this year. It is looking like maybe March may lean more on the warmer side, at least the first couple weeks of the month. Um, but they haven't updated their forecast yet to, to reflect anything like that. So basically, what you're saying is March uh, we could come in like a lion or come in like a lamb out like a lion, like they say. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, opposite. Yeah, yeah, and on precipitation, you know, again, it's looking like early part of the month um, more favored to be dry. Um, but as we get into the spring season, um, you know, transition from a winter pattern to a summer pattern is really challenging any year, any time. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now they, they have us in equal chances of wetter, drier, or near average for precipitation in March also. Okay. Um, again, to our south, you know, central plains, they're favoring drier. Um, but to our west and east they're favoring wetter we're kind of in between again <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. it's kind of they're, they're not quite sure where that storm track is going to settle in uh in march i guess okay how about uh, let's get into the month of april that's when a lot of guys will be uh, rolling the planters and type thing maybe mid to late april um what, what are you looking at there yeah april itself um i don't know that i have good information for april itself but april and may in general um we are you know looking at leaning towards what warmer than average um in that later spring and even more so when you look into the summer um oh you know re- there's pretty good consensus the models just keep showing warmer than average more likely in that late spring early summer time period um precipitation wise um a little less certain there they are favoring generally drier over the rockies and that tends to kind of include uh, um, parts of western South Dakota as well, so not so much the east. Um, you know, this combination of warmer than average temperatures plus potentially drier than average, at least in the early, you know, March to April time frame, could, could start off things pretty dry. Although, you know, there's still, you know, potential to make up that moisture so to speak mm, yeah. <laughs> you know if, if may and june um gets a little wetter you know and, and through the summer um i don't think it'd be you know end game right there well, yeah. um but uh certainly things are starting off dry a lot dry you know soil moisture wise right now we're about half soil moisture is what we saw a year ago this time mm-hmm. um so as far as the farming community goes you know, we don't have that that moisture in the bank, so to speak, mm-hmm. um, to carry us through. Um, so every drop counts, I think, at this point. There has to be a downward. If you look at, a, like you said, a year ago right now, we started out last year really, really wet. We were still wet from the year before, and then it just mm-hmm. kind of went down. Is this a, are we in a cycle? Is there like a two, three-year cycle this goes through, or, or, or we it just like that? Yeah, I don't know if there's a cycle uh, that, that we could say at this point, um, but certainly we've seen some big extremes um, in recent decades. You know, the last, even since, you know, 2012 was the last extreme severe drought we saw probably down in that area. Um, not to say we haven't had some drought in between. I think the story here is that we're seeing um, these really big swings. Uh, wet and dry Mm -hmm. and in general our our climate's getting warmer in general so um you know managing that on the farm you know it takes maybe a little longer view sometimes Mm -hmm. um so so what can they do now that um can help set them up in the long run to be a little more resilient um of of these big extremes Mm -hmm. so so i think that's something for for farmers and ranchers to kind of think about uh, maybe start trying out a few things, uh, maybe some, some different tillage practices or maybe try and cover crops or maybe some different grazing techniques. Um, all the while, you know, 
uh, keeping track of rainfall or, or precipitation on your own farm is always a great idea. Mm-hmm. Just so you know exactly what you're dealing with, you know. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. If you do it long enough, pretty soon you get your own little cycle, your own little weather world, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and you learn how your land responds to different events, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Like you'll learn how your land responds to, say, a two-inch rain versus a one inch rain or something like that you know mm-hmm. um or if it stays dry for a while how long can you go <laughs> yeah you know in in different scenarios so so yeah i think that's always a great idea um and i mean no big surprise very low flood risk mm-hmm. um in eastern south dakota this year given how dry we are and how low the rivers are right now um you know nothing nothing really sticks out there's not a lot of snow on the ground if any Mm -hmm. um so barring any you know severe thunderstorm you know heavy rain event not anticipating any widespread flooding at least at this point that is south dakota state climatologist laura edwards according to her data we're going to pretty much pick up right where we left off last fall as we start this year warm and dry through the planting season so uh, do take note of that weather very important to all ag producers and it's also very important to all of us here at today's farm life Uh, we've made it one of our top priorities i would like to personally invite you to browse our live interactive radar weather maps on our weather page at todaysfarmlife.com make it one of your favorites bookmark it take weather with you wherever you go and your phone 24 hours a day Remember, feel good about what you do today because what you do today is very important. Until next time, I'm Doug Cunningham.